Yay, hello, and welcome to a very special episode of Survivor After Show. I'm your host, Jerry Manthe, and I am going to be interviewing my personal favorites for the Survivor Second Chances season. Next up, I've got Terry Dietz from Panama. He was voted out on day 38, just one day away from winning a million dollars, because I know if he had made it to the end, he would have definitely made it. He's also the first person to ever find an idol on Exile Island. So welcome, Terry. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thanks so much for having me. Oh my gosh. Great be, you great look great. Here. Everybody looks exactly the same today. I'm so excited. We all aged really well after all that survivor nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ten, ten, nine to 10 years. It's been almost 10 years since we filmed it in October of 2005. It's been, uh, it's been a long time. I had yeah. a lot of good runs since then. A lot of good things going on. Well, the, the game has definitely changed a lot since you played it. Um, and I'm just curious, like, if, when you get in on this season, because I know you're going to, um, what do you think is going to be the most challenging thing for you to overcome? Well, you know, one of the things is I don't, I don't, I know some of the people from charity work and stuff like that. I uh, don't know a lot of the other people, but um, when it all comes down to it, we all made mistakes somewhere along the line. So, again, you know, one of the biggest challenges is. Uh, not going in there with the preconception of who a certain person is um, because they didn't, they're not going to play the game the same way because they didn't win last time. That's very so smart. Gonna... Yeah, because that is exactly the second chance season. So for you in particular, can you remember the exact moment when you played in Panama where you feel like you might have made a misstep that caused you to get voted out and not win? The, uh, I made, a lot of people don't know this, but there were, there were two, two strategic, mis well, a strategic mistake and a challenge mistake. Um, uh, when I went on the family visit with Shane and, uh, basically, unfortunately he got lined up as a blindside then, um, he had me so convinced that Danielle was going to be voted out next that I could have given him one of my idols. I had the immunity idol and I had the hidden immunity idol. And, um, I, I should have just forgotten what he said and said, look, you're taking one of these, take it and like it because I need you as an asset. I did it because I was so convinced by him uh, that, you know, that cost me. With him going, it would have been Aris that went, and Aris wouldn't have won, and the rest of us would have went on to the final. So and then are the you next saying, immunity Harry, challenge. Are you saying that if Shane plays this game with you that you're not going to trust him this time around? <laughs> <laughs> Shane, is, Shane is pretty sure of himself in a lot of ways. And uh, you know what? But he's, he's, a strong, he's got strong convictions and stuff. And... Um, he uh, he's true to his word, you know. He he, he didn't think he was going home, and, and he convinced me enough to believe him. And, and, you know, in my books, it was bad. It was bad for me. It did it did it was one of the things that cost me the million, but it wasn't the final thing that cost me a million. But uh, I'll enjoy playing with Shane this time. I think um, I know a little bit more about him. I know it makes him tick a little bit, and hopefully <laughs> that'll keep me from any kind of stumbling along the way as far as he's concerned. Well, what do you think is going to be the the most exciting thing for you to experience the second time around? You know that um, for me, it's good. A couple of things. Um, first of all, am I going to be even halfway as good at the challenges as I was last time? <laughs> you dominated. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of luck involved with <laughs> yeah. that stuff, and I'm ten ten years older, and and have had a lot of injuries since then. And then uh, the other thing is. How well am I going to do in the strategic and the social game? Uh, it, it just seems that that part of it has really, really stood out for a lot of people that are coming back. There's not too many challenge hogs. So, um, <laughs> you know, they're, they're all going to be gunning. And, you know, another thing, too, I think you'll agree with me. You know, when we first went on Survivor, when you first go on there, there's normally a bunch of knuckleheads that have no idea how to play the game and, and don't even want to be there once they're there after three days and they're going to get voted out quickly. In this one, that's just not going to happen. The people are going to come. They're going to come ready. These, exactly. these are the people that really want to be there for this second chance. Yeah, and, you know what, you know, Terry? We, yeah. I just I want to take a moment to say I personally endorse you for Survivor Second Chances. And I invite everyone out there that's watching right now to go to CBS.com and vote for Terry Dietz to get back on and have a second chance because he deserves it. He absolutely 100% does. 
And Terry, I just want to say thank you so much for coming on the stream.tv and talking with me and, and good luck. I've got my, my vote coming your way every single day. <laughs> well, I appreciate it so much, you guys. Thanks so much. And, uh, you know, I'll do my best out there. All right. Thanks so much. Bye. See ya. <laughs>